Yes, he does. This is who a is this good man in this story? story? Where did oh, he come from? I'm and so why excited. do we want to talk about him? This is Kansas State Representative Mark Samsel. So he's in their uh, their state congress. Um, but he was recently, as recently as April, a substitute teacher uh, for a school in his district. So if we could, uh, oh yeah, here's the title. Uh, Kansas rep Mark Samsel left student with bruise, kicked him in the testicles. Awesome headline. Let's figure out how, the, how we got here. Wow. Um, well, we got an advertisement first, but we'll get there. Really cool. Man, that not required thing irks me pretty hard. What's this? Oh, here we go. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's a lot blurred out, unfortunately. It's kind of not the easiest to see. Basically, what he's doing for a while is talking heavy religion. He talked about abortion. <laughs> he's talking about, uh, like, how come they don't talk about God in school anymore? And then at the end, we can see it. Wow, this is uh, that's yeah. A, you can't really see anything. I can't believe they put that video on this thing. Anyway, basically, what happens? Uh, let's let's read it right here. Um, Kansas Rep. Mark Samsel said, "God works in mysterious ways." When confronted by law enforcement officers over a bruise he allegedly gave a student while he was substitute teaching in April, according to a newly released court document. The Wellsville Republican faces three misdemeanor battery charges involving two approximately 16-year-old victims from an April 28th incident at the city's high school. Numerous videos taken by students that day show Samsel ranting about God, the Bible, masturbation, and suicide. But unfortunately, this news agent's, uh, agency wasn't able to get any of the good videos. But that's pretty much what happened. This guy lost his cool teaching at a school in his constituency and kicked a kid in the nuts. Yeah. I, I feel like if I was running for Congress or in Congress, I would, I mean, just being somebody who works at a museum and has yeah. a very public facing job uh -huh. and who works with students, kicking them in the nuts at any <laughs> point in time has not really occurred to me as like a, uh, an option uh, mm -hmm. Usually I want to, them to like, you know, leave and say I did a good job and, and not say anything bad about me when I when they leave. So I try to be nice to them and treat them with respect and not kick them in the nuts whenever I can. But well, uh, let me yeah. ask you this. Do you have a teaching degree, Johnny? No. Well, you may not know this, but in order to get your teaching masters, you got to kick a kid in the nuts and then you can get your diploma. So <laughs> guys actually doing what they taught him. You know, one of my favorite stories from uh, the New Testament is when Jesus <laughs> yeah. is walking down the street and uh -huh. a couple of um, kids go up to him and they're like, hey, why are you doing work on the Sabbath? And Jesus just kicks them in the nuts as hard <laughs> as he can. <laughs> you know, what else can we say about this story? We've all been in school. Everyone knows that if the substitute teacher is weak, you pick on them. That's what happens. Kids are vicious, whatever. But in no point should you ever touch them physically. But to kick a kid in the nuts as a grown man to two children is reprehensible, insane, and also hilarious behavior. So yeah. this guy was a real winner this week. He also later stated that um, I would, honest to God, never do anything to hurt him. Uh the, said the bruises were soft, but that God <laughs> works in mysterious ways. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that's kind of like I, I thought. I thought being a Christian was about being a servant of God, not like going around swinging your dick around like you're the God police. Well, I love the <laughs> I would never do anything to hurt him because he just did. It's kind of like yeah. that. That it. I mean, it's not the same, but it's kind of similar to the Michael Richards. I'm happy that they're condemning the behavior that I just did where it's you, like, yeah. what are you talking about? Are you, are you aware of uh, the story when Jesus meets with Nicodemus, the rich man and, uh, and Nicodemus says, you know, what does, what do I have to do to enter oh. the kingdom of God? Mm, yeah, and, and Jesus just kicks him right in the nuts as hard 
as he can. He just kicks him and he gives him a bruise. And then yeah. Nicodemus he gives like, him a needle and he's like, here, thread yourself through this. Yeah, he literally shoves him through a needle. 